Praise be to Jesus. Praise to the eternal word of God. Hallelujah. Praise to the one who loved mankind so much that he came and died on the cross for the sinful people. Amen. Amen. Bible tells us in the beginning, God created man and woman his own image. Everything was good. And God told man and woman to do to not do one thing. Yep. Yes, man and woman in the garden choose to, choose to do something which God told them to not do. Therefore, they sin against God and they sin against one another. Christian scripture tells us the moment they sin against holy God, God gave them the solution. Solution of Messiah, the one who is going to come and destroy the head of Satan. Yeah. Throughout scripture, Bible tells us Messiah is going to come and die on the cross for the sinful human beings. Approximately 2,000 years ago, Messiah, the eternal word of God, Lord Jesus Christ comes and dies on the cross by crucifixion for the sinful of human beings so that man and woman can be made right with God through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, we praise to God who loved us so much that he gave his only son to die on the cross for the sinful of people that we won't perish yet we will have eternal life. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise be to Jesus. Praise to the eternal word of God. Hallelujah. Praise to the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Yes. Praise to the one who out of love, out of concern, revealed himself in Jesus. Approximately 2,000 years ago, eternal word of God, whom God created heaven and earth, took up human flesh, come and lived among us according to Christian scripture. Therefore, we look at Jesus and we see who God is and what God has done for mankind. Yes, yes. Christian scripture teaches there is one God in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Yes, indeed. Yet, we meet with a religion called Islam. According to Muslims, Islam teaches oneness of God. According to Muslims, it is very blaspheming and shameful that God, who created heaven and earth, will take up human form, live among human beings. They think that goes against God's nature. Yet, Christian scripture describes our God is capable and our God was willing to take up human flesh and live among us. There are the things Christian God cannot do. Christian God cannot lie. Christian God cannot do the things which goes against his nature. But Christian God is capable and willingly willing to take up human flesh, take up human nature for the sake of mankind. Therefore, he deserves all the praises. Amen. Amen. As we say, Islamic scripture teaches, Muslims tells us that God will never become human because it is Sir, why God wouldn't become human? I don't know. Why would he? Why would he? Because you are a sinful man. You need God. He wouldn't bother to do that something for you. Your answer. So, are you listening? You go, go, go. I'm listening. I've got some questions. If you have a question to ask us, maybe it will be wise for you to first answer the questions which you have been asked. Why Allah cannot become a human? Yes. Is he, is he not powerful enough to become a human? Is he powerful enough to become a rat? Is it, is it, no. The question is, does Allah, is Ali Allah omnipotent? Does he have the ability or the power to take on an, an additional nature to himself, a human nature? Does he have the power to do so? Yes or no? Can I answer it my way? 
Of course you can. What does it? Uh, I don't. We hold on to that. Me, me personally, yeah. my first answer, he wouldn't do anything that befits his majesty. So according to you, God will never become a human because it doesn't fit his majesty. In Hinduism, he becomes a man. Sorry? An elephant. But wait, wait, let's just clarify. Are you saying that God can? He has the power to become. Uh, listen to listen to my question. Before you interrupt, before before you interrupt, this is my question. We're asking a question. Two, we don't want to conflate two issues. According to these Muslims, when I speak to them, they say that surely God cannot be a man, or, or he cannot um, take on the form of a man. That's one question. The other question is, if if he can, will he? So there's two questions there. So we're asking you first of all, can God, does he have the ability, does he have the power to take on a human nature? Can he do that? Can he do that? Yes or no? No, he can't do that. So we've got an all-powerful God who can't um, create a human nature and dwell as a human being. That's what you've got. You've got an all-powerful God that has a deficiency in his power. Would we agree on that? No, the reason, can I answer it? The reason why I don't believe God became Jesus is because of what's in the Bible. No, the question is, can he? We're going to move on to that, can he? He can become a rat, an elephant, or a monkey. Right. So according to Muslims, God can become anything. He can become a rat, yet he cannot become a human. No, but I said he won't do anything that befits his nature. But so he can. it's all right so he can. for him to become a rat, but the moment he becomes a human, it doesn't fit to his majesty. I, I was speaking figuratively. Do you understand what I mean? Right. So, so do you, yeah. Yes. What is the reason Allah be, cannot become a human? So it just won't be. So it just doesn't happen. Okay. It doesn't happen, right. No. So there's no reason, just, it just doesn't happen. Okay. Because Islamic God, Allah, does not love human beings enough because Islamic God, Allah, does not concern for his creatures. Therefore, there is no point for him to give them the solution of salvation from the wrath of God. Therefore, he will never come human. But here's the, here's the my problem. Can I stop for one second? No, wait, 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 wait. Let, 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 let me finish. Express my just, just problem to you. I look at Islamic scripture and then I see Spirit of Allah, which I believe would be the part of Allah, become a perfect human, which Allah cannot do so. What does it say to you about Allah? Why Spirit of Allah can become a perfect human, but Allah cannot? Let's talk. Okay. Give us reason why he became a human. Okay. You're preaching, yeah. obviously. Okay, so, so read it first. According to the question is, why would Allah, all loving, all knowing, all powerful Allah, cannot even bother to become a human, but why, how come his spirit becomes human? What is the reason? Wait, wait, let, let answer. One question. One, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. So, how does the spirit of Allah become human? We would go to Surah 19 and then we would read it from verse 16 to 20. Brother, can you read it? Alright, so let's read it. Okay, let's we'll go Surah to the Quran. 19, verse, verse 16 to 20. Uh, you use the Bible? Like, what are you talking about? Bible Allah. Doesn't talk about Allah. Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah is not, Allah is not God in the Bible. Allah. He is not in the Bible. <laughs> so, we are asking <laughs> what are the things Spirit of Allah can do, yet Allah fails to do it. Okay. Surah 19. So, Surah 19, verse 16. Alright, okay, we're going to read it. Yeah, you listening? So, it says here. And mention, O Muhammad, in the book, the story of Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place towards the east. Just to yeah. what, yeah? And she took in seclusion from them a screen. Then we sent to her uh, our spirit. angel, our, yeah, our spirit, but it says here in back is our Gabriel, yeah? And he represented himself to her 
as a well-proportioned man. She said, indeed, I seek, hold on, wait a minute. She said, indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful from you. So leave me if, she, if you should be fearing of Allah. Verse 19 says, he said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy. So, so, so it says in brackets, no, Angel Gabriel. It Gabriel. says, it says, God he will. sent to brackets. our spirit. Look at here. Verse, uh, verse 17. We and to this son to our That's spirit. Gabriel. So right. according to you, so, this is Gabriel. It's not okay, okay. okay. First, is filthy, Gabriel? filthy man, filthy man. No, no swearing. Is so the question is this, yes? It's not a Gabriel. Right, the question is this. It's Hold. our spirit. Right, Gabriel he says. Right. Do you understand the difference between um, God's spirit, Allah's spirit, and Angel Gabriel? Do you understand the difference? Or do you think there's no difference? Gabriel. I understand this. The question I'm asking you again, yeah? Do you understand there's a distinction or there's a difference between Angel and God's Holy Spirit? Do you understand that? No, but in this context, it's Gabriel. Okay, let's see if in this context it's Gabriel or not. Okay. No, we're gonna we're gonna respond. Read, 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 Gabriel. In a perfect man. No, Gabriel. So let, let me just explain it to you. What would perfect man would look like? Clearly, you are not the perfect man. Yeah, I have, to leave, handsome, I have to leave my tummy. <laughs> you are handsome, you are tall, wow. but then somehow you fail to have the six pence. She's so nice to me. So you are not perfect man because you fail to six packs. A eight pack, eight pack, eight pack. Eight packs, whatever, how many packs are you? Now I'm ready to miss the man. God, will you fail to six packs? So, Spirit of Allah... You got one pack. ...reveals himself to Mary. Gabriel. Spirit of Allah reveals himself to Mary in a perfect man, which freaks out Mary. Mary seeks refuge from Allah. Okay? Mary cannot even listen if that is something else because she looks at the man and then she says, This is the perfect man. So we need to man. establish who is that spirit. Is it Gabriel? Okay, let's okay. establish so that. So we need to go to the Arabic? Yeah. yeah. So we'll go to the Arabic, yeah? Use this one. Okay, use this yeah, yeah, yeah. one. So, do you speak Arabic? Good. So, with your mouth speaking Arabic, <laughs> little bit. Little bit Arabic. Very little. Can you read this, read this for us? Yeah, Gabriel. Baba, are you playing game? Because if you, if you, if you, if you're not serious, then don't practice takia. Shameful, shameful, shameful. Yeah, but you, but you, you're not taking this serious, are you? We want real Muslims who take Islam seriously. But the problem we have here. Yeah, is that Muslims like you or other Muslims will say he's not a real Muslim, he doesn't represent Islam because everything we're saying to you is a joke because you guys are and so what I'm saying to you is that if you're going to take this seriously, this is your Quran is what does this affect your eternity? Surah 19 verse 17 Surah 19 verse 17 and read us what the Arabic says The rule of Allah becomes a perfect man with perfect faith, with perfect heart, plus six pounds, which freaks out Mary. I am asking simple question. Why will the spirit of Allah become a perfect human being? What is it wrong with Allah? He cannot become a human being. So is spirit separated from Allah? Is spirit another divine being? That will be sure. Spirit will be the part of Allah. Part of Allah can become a perfect man, yet Allah cannot. That's right. And it's interesting. It doesn't, it doesn't yes. say angels. Give me the melek. Okay. Show me the melek in Arabic. What is the Arabic word for angel? What is the Arabic word for angel? 
But you, I thought you said you spoke Arabic. You said yeah. you a little bit. You don't even. Okay. Know what will you do? Words. Google. I know. Google no, no, the Arabic no. words for for angel. Hold on, hold on. Google the Arabic word for angel, and Google the Arabic word for for for, for spirits. And let's see if they're the same word. Are you saying this is not game? Because according to um, the Quran, the Quran, which apparently was revealed from Allah to Muhammad in pure Arabic. The, in perfect Arabic, yeah, yeah, okay. It says that the we use is the word ru. And the question we have to ask ourselves is, what does the word ru? Does it mean angel? Does it mean Gabriel or? Spirit. He already confirmed for us. It means spirit. Okay, I appreciate that. That's an honest Muslim. Spirit of Allah. Spirit of Allah. Yes. Becomes a perfect man. Very high. Very great. Six packs, okay? Perfect man. And probably very, very handsome have you, perfect man. Have you read man. the tafsir on this? Are you listening to what he's saying to you? Huh? Is this, this bad No, no, no. I'm giving you that bad You're not listening. You're not listening. And the only thing I'm listening You're not even listening, are you? So, Spirit of Allah becomes a part. Not Gabriel. It's the Gabriel, Spirit of Allah. Gabriel, angel of Allah. Okay, you already told us Ruh that Ruh means is the spirit. spirit of Allah. Yes. Gabriel is an angel. So, move on from that silicon message. I want to see the tafsir. Okay. So go and find it. Find it. Find it. You man, you want to see the Arabic. He is the Arabic, and Arabic tells you through of Allah become a perfect human. I am asking simple questions. How can Ruh of Allah, Spirit of Allah, can do something which Allah cannot? Yeah, because the question is this, and this is what my sister Hatun is asking. If this Ruh, yeah, the Spirit of Allah. Um, has the ability or has the power to do something that Allah cannot do, wouldn't that make him God? Better no, God. Or even better than God, yeah. <laughs> and number two, does it, is it actually stating that, or should we, can we um, pursue, assume that if the Spirit of Allah is not Allah Himself, then we have another, another God. Another divine being. Another divine being. Yes. Which would mean and that people who commit shirk, they will end up in hell. Precisely. And Allah is committing shirk. Allah is going to end up in hell. Muhammad is following yeah. Allah. Muhammad is going to end up in hell. That is very simple logic. Yes. But tell us, how come Spirit of Allah can do something which Allah cannot do? That's the question. If you don't know, ask for ask for Muslim. Where does it say Melek? Where does it say Melek? Bro, by repeating Angel Gabriel over and over again, it doesn't. Well, hold on. By repeating Angel Gabriel over and over again, won't change the Arabic. It will remain rule. I uh, remain spirit. Okay? Why so. it remains spirit? Why it you're, you're, you're not serious. Spirit? Yes. Okay? Yeah. Can you just tell us? Huh? As for the simple question. Uh, cool, if cool. you are yeah, still forcing say. your view, that rule is supposed to be the melek, which stands for the angel. Are you telling us today you know much better than Allah who failed to communicate his word? Why is it supposed to be melek? But he said, Ruh, or are you telling us, since you know much better than Allah, you want every Muslims to worship you, because you are much better than Allah, or are you simple, simply lying? You've got three options, pick one. Pick one, pick one. Are you lying? Are you lying? Be honest. Right. Are you lying? You just said that this word is Gabriel. Thanks, Reza. You said this is no, no, no. You, no, you said you said you said the Arabic word is Gabriel. All right. So you said you said the Arabic word is Gabriel. So the question we have to ask yourself. I'm reading it. I'm reading it, guys. And peace be upon him. The day he's born and the day he dies and the day he's raised alive. A mention of Muhammad in the book, the story of Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place towards the east, and she took in seclusion from them a screen. Then we sent to her our angels, 
Gabriel and he represented himself to her as well as proportionate Okay. Man. See, this is the problem, thank you. Does this, he say Gabriel? Hold on, hold on. Can, can I have my Quran? No steam in the park. No, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> it Gabriel. Pass, pass. Gabriel, everyone, it says Gabriel. Okay, it says Gabriel, okay. You, so now this is the problem with my Muslim friends. Can I read Arabic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, I'm going to read Arabic with your limited Arabic. <laughs> I am sure you will hear the word if it is root or if it is malak, okay? Fatah Katan means do know him, hijab, ban far, salah, in hajj, ilayha, you ana fatah mat hala. Alright guys. Did I say malak or did I say root? I've given up, I'm ready. You need to give up Islam. So, I agree with I'm you ready. on that. I'm ready. Islam I'm ready. is you know, We want real Muslims. Muslims Muslim to say. We want Muslims the Bible. who take Islam seriously. Uh, can I, you don't take Islam seriously. I'm yeah. done. I'm done with Islam. Can I trust you? Okay, I'm let's let's move on because he's just no, he's just a heckler. Since we've got Muslims, <laughs> <since> we've <laughs> got Muslims <laughs> who try to force their interpretation into the eternal word of Allah, give up their Islam. Let's continue. Let's continue. So Surah 19 verse 17 tells us something that Allah. According to Muslims, who, became, who cannot become a human, mm. yet the spirit of Allah becomes not only human, not any other any human. He is tall with glasses, but he becomes a perfect <laughs> human. Perfect human being. Perfect man. Handsome, six packs or eight packs, handsome human. But I was joking Allah about eight packs, buddy. <laughs> do that. Let's see. Is the spirit Yes, have you got, yeah, okay. Surah 66 verse 12. So 66 verse 12, all right, let's, let's look at that. So do you, do, you believe that, do you believe that he can create from nothing? Do I believe what? The Spirit of Allah has the ability to create from nothing. No. No? No? I don't know. I told you. You're not a very good Muslim. You haven't been reading your Quran. It is heartbreaking yeah, yeah, yeah. to see Muslims are just confused about Allah. Is it 66? 66, 66, yeah. Verse 12. 12, okay. And Mary, daughter of Imram, hmm, that's a bit dodgy, whose body was chased, therefore we breathed in it something of our spirits, and she put faith in the words of her Lord. And he scriptures and was of the obedience. So in Surah 19, we saw the Spirit of Allah become perfect human. Yeah. So, and then tell Mary that Mary is going to have a baby. In chapter 66, we see it is the Spirit of Allah gives life to Jesus oh, while there is nothing in her tummy. It is the Spirit of Allah. Did you get that? It is the spirit of Allah creates the way Allah creates. Tell me about so the spirit. So Who is this spirit? I don't know. You don't know. Don't know. Is there any Muslims that know who the spirit of the Allah of Allah is? Because this one, he doesn't take his faith seriously. Do you, have any, do you know who the spirit of Allah is, my friends? The spirit of Allah. You don't know. Excuse me. I just ask you, just very, 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 very simple question. If you can recite for me the ayahs that you're talking about in Arabic and then break them down and then break them down and then break them down to explain to me exactly your question, then I will answer it. Okay, do you know Arabic, sir? Do you know Arabic? What is yours? Do you, I know the Arabic. phone is yours. I know, you know enough. Know, okay. so, you, you know, know <laughs> he knows enough. Know. With your so, enough Arabic. Will you accept the challenge? With your Can you accept the challenge? No. Right, okay, okay, okay. Don't run off. Don't run off. I've got a feeling you're going to run off. I've got a feeling you're going to run off. Are you going to run off? Are you going to run off? Right, stay here. Stay here. Okay. Are you going to run off? 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 Are you going to run
So, so, so repeat that. Continue. Repeat that. Don't walk off. Repeat that. What did you just say? What was your answer to our question? What was the answer to our question? Repeat what you said. Are you a heckler? I am. Uh, uh, see? So he's not serious. <laughs> Hashim! Hashim, can you answer? Because these Muslims are not answering. Oh, see, Hashim. Hashim's meant to be knowledgeable, but he doesn't know. Even we were serious Muslims. Sheikhs of the Sikhs come and just run and give it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Surah 66, verse 12 tells us the Spirit of Allah creates, gives a life which Allah can give life and the Spirit gives life. There is nothing wrong. But Allah cannot become a human yet. His spirit is capable to become not any human, but a perfect, perfect. human. A perfect human. Well, what do we understand as perfect? Because perfection for me can only be God. Now, what we have, our Muslim friends want us to believe, is that there can be something other than God that's perfect. Now, to me, that's shirk. If you say, if you say, so what happens? Yeah, what the, we shirk? should ask them. What happens to people who commit shirk? Hellfire, my friends. So what we're saying to you is, either you speak the truth, and what we're asking you is this: is that if the spirit is able to one create like Allah, is able to be perfect like Allah. The only thing, okay, well, according to the Muslims, yeah, they say he's perfect. The only thing we can, um, we can affirm is this, is that this spirit must be the same as Allah. If he's different, then we have two gods. Do you understand that? Okay. If it is the same Allah, if it is as the Allah, then the spirit of Allah can do the things which Allah is not capable. That says lots of things about Allah in a simple form. Shame on Allah that the spirit is more capable. More powerful, but, yeah. yeah. But let's say you made an argument that spirit was an angel. Let the Quran speak. Who is that spirit? So we go to the Surah 78, yes. 38. Yes. Surah 78, 38. Which tells us With your spirit Bible. and angels are two different your Bible. I want your Bible. 78 verse 8. 38. Okay. So let's read it. See, it's, it's very sad when Christians to come to Speaker's Corner. No, no, Christians have to come to Speaker's Corner to teach Muslims about their own Quran. You got a mosque for that, but we have to still teach you. Okay, so, so um, A for A. On the day when the angels and the spirit stand arrayed, they... Yeah, yes, it. yeah. First tells you, spirit and angels are different beings, okay? Mm. So, don't... Today you learn, don't ever go around and then say, who of Allah is Gabriel? <laughs> it's not the I'm Gabriel, really dead, okay? I'm really Do not lie. I'm lying with you. You Baba, lied. Baba, are you, lied. Baba, did you just you hear what we just read? Lied. Did you just hear what we just read? We just show the distinction between angel and spirit. See, as you are not listening, yes. please, please, open one of the ears for five seconds and remember, Quran makes a claim about your eternity, and so far you are not going to be in a good place. I'll see you if there. I were you, I would repent and bow down to Lord Jesus while you have time, because otherwise Can we it's going to be too Lord Jesus? late. Mm. First, ask her the questions, then you will get the right to ask the okay. questions. I will, let's talk about the you're, you're, you're not taking your life seriously. You don't take your life seriously because your eternal life is in jeopardy, and all you want to do is laugh, have fun, smoke cigarettes. That's what you want to do, rather than take this seriously. So, so far, we saw Spirit of Allah can be, did become a perfect man. It was the spirit of Allah. You're not serious. I'm not talking to you. Right? And then we saw angel and spirit of Allah were two different beings. Let's see. What else does Quran say about the spirit of Allah? Surah 1785. Allah makes a claim that limit regarding the spirit is limited. Sorry, knowledge regarding the spirit is limited. 
but we will go to Surah 58, verse 22, and see Surah 58, verse 22. Okay, so Surah 58, verse 22. 22. All right, let's read this. You will not find people who believe in Allah and the last day, loving those who oppose Allah and his messenger, even though they be their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their clan. As for such, he has written faith upon their hearts. And has 58 verse 58 verse uh, okay. 22, okay, sorry. yeah? Yeah, yeah sorry. continue sorry. reading, yeah? yeah sorry. Okay. As for, as for such, he has written faith upon their hearts and has strengthened them with a spirit from him. And he will bring them into gardens underneath which rivers flow, in which they will remain. Will remain. Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with him. They are Allah's party. It is not Allah's party who are successful. So Surah 58 verse 22 states that the Spirit of Allah is going to strengthen the believers. What kind of, the word I can't pronounce, attributes? Attributes, yes. yes, yes. Attributes must the Spirit of Allah have to strengthen the believers. As a, as a, as a, as a, How many believers are there? The, uh, Since 7th century, there has been lots of lots of believers. In this time, there are approximately 1.85, 84 billion Muslims out there. Spirit of Allah must be that capable to strengthen 1.84 billion Muslims. Which means, Spirit of Allah must be all-knowing, all-powerful and all-present. Those are the divine attributes, attributes, Very good. attributes. Yes. given to Allah, yet His Spirit has it. So it tells us, Spirit of Allah is a divine being. Yes. But it also implies, as a divine being, Spirit of Allah can do the things which Allah can not do. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That is pretty, pretty awful. It is awful. Yeah. What are you Muslim, sir? What do you think of what we're saying? What do you think of what we're saying? We just listen, yeah? Alright, fair enough. So how does it make you feel knowing the spirit of Allah can do the things Allah cannot do? You don't know. You don't have any feelings. Are you are you um do you, I mean but what I'm asking is that have you looked into your faith a little bit? Have you read your Quran? Do you go to the mosque? Do you take it seriously? Be honest. You try to. Because these are some of these things that are so important because um, a lot of these issues ha have a connection with your eternal soul. And so when we come up here, when they're just kind of thrown out, spewed out, just anything, we're actually saying things that you need to know that's going to eternal you, I mean, uh, that's going to determine your relationship with your creator. So it's important that you know these things. So I would encourage you to look into this stuff more. By the way, the good thing is you're, you're listening. That's, that's good. I'll ask you another question. Do you have a problem when Christian makes a claim that the eternal word of God united with human nature and lived among us as Lord Jesus Christ? Do you have a problem with that? Not really, if you believe it, they want Oh! Yeah, the Muslim yeah. thinks we can believe what we want. Yeah. Yet, we acknowledge that Quran doesn't give us that right. But yeah. thank you, we appreciate that, we appreciate that. Okay. So, our problem is when Muslims come and make a claim that they have a problem, that the eternal word of God, God himself, become human, lived among us and died on the cross. Because Christian scripture teaches there is one God in three persons, second person of the Trinity, lived among us as a human being. Because God loved the world so much that he did not want us to end up in hell. He wants us to repent 
By looking at the blood of Lord Jesus on the cross, it shows us through incarnation how much God loves us and how much God cares for us. Yet, yet Islam teaches, Islam teaches, Allah can not become human because it does not fit in His Majesty. Yet, Ruh of Allah becomes not any human, but He becomes a perfect human which freaks out Mary. And that perfect human makes, gives life to life to um tummy of Jesus, uh, life to Mary yeah. for Jesus to develop in her tummy. Yeah. And that perfect human also identified in Islamic scripture, it's going to strengthen all the believers, which means he must be all powerful, all knowing and all present. So Spirit of Allah can do the things Allah cannot do, yet it is the attributes of Allah. Is there a shirk going on? Absolutely. Or Allah is simply incapable to do the certain things. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. So are we are we gonna go into the loop? So, yeah. Since Allah is incapable to do everything, since Allah doesn't even bother to come to earth and then build a relationship with mankind or offer them the solution for their sin, offer them eternal life, there is no any need for any Muslim to follow someone called Allah. Allah doesn't bother for you, Allah doesn't care for you, Allah doesn't concern for you. But it is the God, God of Bible, who loves mankind, who concerns for mankind, and it is that God sent his eternal word to die on the cross so that man and woman can be made right with God through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Repentance. Therefore, give up that ideology called Islam. Give up that religion called Islam. And come to the eternal word of God. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.